Hello, hot water. It's a fucking pleasure to be here. All right, just me. Hi, fuck me. <laughs> Racism is alive and well. Uh, no, but you know what? It's, it's actually it's a pleasure to be in Liverpool. Uh, it's my first time here. I've never been in a city before where the number one source of income is disability living allowance. <laughs> I almost felt bad about that joke, but then none of you cunts will take my Scottish money. So fuck yous. <laughs> but anyway, this is my first time in Liverpool, and I've been, so I spent today doing all the kind of touristy shit, and I'm so fucking glad I did, right? We went, I, went down, I went to see the Cavern Club and all that, right? So we went down, and next to the Cavern Club, it said, uh, the authentic Beatles Museum. I said, I'll, I'll go in there, have a wee wonder. I seen the fucking, there was supposed to be a wax work of John Lennon, right? It was a fucking mannequin with a long hair wig on and a pair of pre-marked plimsolls. <laughs> it didn't even have a fucking hole in its head. <laughs> oh, you're like, oh, no, no, John. No, John. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck it. But uh, it, is, it's, it is honestly a pleasure to be here because uh, I actually live with my parents. I uh, live in the fucking dream, I know. Um, and my parents are really old. The reason for that is I'm the youngest of four siblings. And uh, I'm actually, the next one closest to me is my sister. Who, she's 10 years older than me. And then all the rest of my siblings, there's like one or two years between them. You know, it just means like mathematically I was a fucking mistake. <laughs> now, I know, I know I'm a mistake because like my dad was nearly 50 when I was born. Uh, and they fucking has their fourth kid nearly 10 years after the third kid at the age of nearly 50 year old, right? Basically the sperm that made me probably have to switch off the big light and lock the front door before it shot at his cock. <laughs> but uh, my mum and dad are married man, which is kind of weird this day and age, but they've been married for nearly 40 years. Woo! Yeah, yeah it's kind of cute that, uh, which is amazing because they fucking hate each other. My mum and dad have, uh, it, you might have this as well, but if your parents are still together, my mum and dad have one of the marriages that it only lasts because every six months my mum has like a severe but manageable mental breakdown. <laughs> and it's like they just hit the reset button. Uh, but you know what, it's her faith that keeps her strong, my mum. Uh, she's not religious, she just fucks off doing the Mecca five nights a week. Wants <laughs> to keep her busy. Uh, but the, the hardest part about living with old parents is like the fucking conversations I find myself having. Because their head's just starting to go, do you know what I mean? They're starting to get a bit senile and that. So uh, this is all, this is real conversations I've had with my parents, right? And now I don't know if you'll know about this, because English people tend not to give a single flying fuck what happens in Scotland, which is fair enough. <laughs> but recently we had, a, we had a storm called Storm Alley, right? Kind of like it's 2018, every time there's a fucking gusty wind, we have to name the cunt, <laughs> right? So we had a mildly strong wind and it was, na it was named Alley, right? Uh, but way up north, uh, a woman on a caravan site, she was in her caravan, she actually died because her whole fucking caravan blew off the side of a cliff. That is 100% true, right? And we're watching this on the news, right? And the story comes out and my mum goes, what a wee shame for that woman. She, I swear she said this, she went, I just hope she was asleep. <laughs> now I'm a fucking heavy sleeper, right? But I think if your whole, I think if your whole fucking house is blown off a cliff, you might stir a bit. <laughs> and do you know what? I'm for a really working class family. I've been on fucking caravan holidays. That woman got a lucky escape, right? <laughs> She's took a, she took one look at the entertainment that night. Oh, bingo at half seven. Fuck it. Take the handbrake off. Lock the door. Let's hope this cunting wind picks up. But by far the fucking stupidest conversation I've ever been involved in with my mum and dad happened really recently, right? As I say, my dad's like in his 70s, uh, nearly in his 70s, sorry. Uh, if anybody's adding up all the math for this, I know it doesn't add up, but I'm not that good at writing, so fuck yous. <laughs> uh, my dad's like nearly in his 70s, and uh, his health started to deteriorate a wee bit, and he had to go to the doctor recently, and he got a blood test, and it, he found out he had type 2 diabetes. So the night he found out, me and my mum and dad were all sitting, having a wee cup of tea, because that's, <laughs> that's what my fucking life is now. <laughs> and um, my dad's like really down in the dumps. And my mum goes, Alan, what's wrong with you? You're off it down tonight. What is it? He went, well, he says, I'm fucking nearly 70 year old. Barely touch a drink. Haven't he smoked in the last five years? He says, and now I can't have a fucking biscuit with my cup of tea. <laughs> right, and I swear my mum went to him. Oh, Alan, have a biscuit, son. You can start your diabetes on Monday. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
I'll be honest, I didn't think that's sound medical advice. <laughs> you know I mean, excuse me, I'm really sorry, son. Can you come into my waiting room? Uh, I, need to, I need to tell you something. Are you sitting comfortably? This is really going to... It's hard for me to tell you. We've, uh, we've had the results of your blood test back. I'm afraid you're HIV positive. <laughs> But I've spoke to head office and we can buy you the weekend. Away and enjoy yourself, son. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. I've been Connor Burns. Cheers.